Oh, come on. You're telling me Tom Cruise died filming another stunt? <sighs> oh, Christ. Fire up another batch of clones and pay off the crew to keep their mouths shut. No, it's fine. We'll just tell the public he broke his ankle or something that should buy us a couple weeks. Oop, we have to call you back, Chris. Sorry. Yellow? Mr. Richards, isn't Mr. the Hedgehog here to see you? Oh, Sonic's here? Great. Send him in, Janine. Sonic! How's my favorite blue bomber? Uh, that's Mega Man? And to answer your question, Dick, not well. I just saw the first cut of my upcoming movie, and I Oh, that's great! What'd you think? Let's just say it makes Sonic 06 look like Shakespeare in the Park by comparison. Yeah, I understood none of those references. It's bad, Dick! It's really, really bad! It's like someone made a chili dog but swapped out the chili for poop, and then the dog for even more poop! It's just a lot of poop, Dick! Oh, come on. I think you might be a little too close to the project, Sonic. I'm sure it's fine. Have you seen it? Sonic, my time is incredibly valuable, and based on your game's track record over the past decade, your IP isn't. But I've got a little bit of time on my hands right now, so as a personal favor to you, I'll check the movie out, okay? I mean, how bad can it really be? Wow. Yikes. Yeesh. Right? Jesus, you weren't kidding. That was a grade-A turd sandwich. Somehow Sonic was even more annoying than usual. No offense. James Morrison apparently learned zero lessons from Hop, and seeing a nearly 60-year-old Jim Carrey do the same over-the-top villain shtick he did in the 90s was surprisingly sobering. I told you. I mean, that made Alvin and the Chipmunks look like Shakespeare in the Park. Sonic, you gotta quit it with that reference, all right? No one's gonna get it. Well, you gotta fix this, Dick, and fast. I thought this would be so easy. Just a simple, middle-of-the-road kids movie. I didn't even bother checking in on production. But for it to be this bad? How could I have missed it? I'm Dick Richards. Are you going soft, Dick? Well, Dicky boy, my schedule is starting to look pretty busy, so if you want to start reshoots, it's gonna cost you. Reshoots? We're Paramount, we can't afford that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to keep our Tom Cruise cloning facility operational? I mean, normal business expenses? Well, you'd better figure something out, Dick, because people are gonna turn on this movie faster than the public would turn on Mark Wahlberg if they ever Googled his prolific history of racially charged violence. Or we get them to turn on the movie before it even comes out. That's it! Ha! There's the rock hard dick I know. Janine, has the Sonic movie trailer dropped yet? No, sir, Mr. Richards. Perfect. There's still time. Send in... Schmonic. Schmonic? <laughs> Who's Schmonic? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Schmonic, get to the Paramount lot as fast as you can. We have a job for you. Okay! <laughs> I'm sorry, what the hell is happening? <sighs> oh, nothing. Just saving the movie at minimal cost to our bottom line. I'm not following. Of course you're not, Sonic. You're incredibly slow. See. I'm gonna have Schmonic reshoot all your scenes that we we're planning to use in the trailer. It's just a handful of shots, and he's not even Union, so it'll cost us next to nothing. Then I'm gonna set that footage to some music that has absolutely nothing to do with your brand, like, and I'm just spitballing here, Gangster's Paradise. And then I'm gonna release that monstrosity onto a poor, unsuspecting public. No, that'll be terrible. Oh, I'm banking on it being one of the worst movie trailers of all time. There will be thousands of tweets, video essays, react videos, hot takes, all talking about how out of touch we are and how, oh, we don't understand Sonic. And when their hatred reaches a fever pitch, we'll announce that we've heard the fans' messages loud and clear, and that we're gonna push back the release of the film so that we can fix Sonic and make sure he's the best he can possibly be. Okay, and then what? And then we do nothing. Movie saved. A couple of months down the line, we release the real trailer featuring you, and the public will collectively soil themselves. All of a sudden, those thousands of rubes who decried us on social media will suddenly be singing our praises. Critics will even give it better reviews than it deserves because they'll grade it on a curve. Paramount will be seen as the heroes who listen to the fans. And people will show up to the theater by the buttload to see their beloved little blue bozo. But you didn't change anything in the movie. You did nothing to make the movie better. Why would I need to do that? All I needed to do was make the public perception of the movie better. See, Sonic, people have this odd necessity to feel like they matter. They're desperate for any sort of respect and to be treated better than the sentient wallets that they essentially are. 
So by us coming up with this new Sonic design, these cretins will think that we've fixed the movie and listened to the fans and therefore respect them. So many air quotes. And these fanboys are so desperate for anything that they even perceive to be authentic that they're willing to blissfully ignore any amount of evidence to the contrary. So in the end, it's a simple equation. Perception plus desperation equals box office domination. No. No, you've gone too far, dick. Really? I feel like I've done way worse. If, if you go through with this, then, then you'll have to do it without your star. Good luck promoting the movie without my endorsement. Oh, well, all right. If you really feel that strongly, we can just shelve the movie. You know, never release it. Uh, by the way, you know that Mario's working on his own movie at Universal, right? Wait, what? He is? Oh, yeah. And I hear the construction on Super Nintendo World is coming along quite nicely. Should be open by next year. He's getting his own theme park, too? Yeah, and you could have the same Sonic, but no, it's fine. Clearly, you're a hedgehog of integrity. I could tell from Sonic Forces. Janine will validate. Thank you for coming. Wait, maybe I was looking at this the wrong way. Oh? Yeah, you know what? I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Oh, that's great to hear, buddy. Now get out of here. I'll see you in February for the premiere. Still got a dick. Hey friends, Davis from the Warp Zone here. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see another fun video, go ahead and click that box right there. Also, we have a Patreon now, which is exciting. And if you guys want to join our fun little community, we would love it. You can do so by clicking there. Anyways, I'm going to go because this video is done. So, okay. I almost tripped on myself.